right, I'm here with Susie Rue, who's a guest of Catalyst Week. She's here from Ignition Factory. So tell me about Ignition Factory, why you're here and sure. what's going on. Hi everybody, my name is Susie Rue. I'm visiting from Los Angeles. So I'm at the Ignition Factory out of OMD. Ignition Factory is an innovations and emerging platforms and technologies team. So basically, long story short, we try to help big corporate brands partner with innovative companies, innovative founders, um, startups, technologies, things that will help them bridge the gap between innovation and you know corporate culture. Okay, so how did you get involved in the creative aspect of, it sounds like you do a lot of corporate work. Mm -hmm. I know you're creative and that kind of is what brought you to Catalyst Week, am I correct? Exactly, so I've been hearing about the downtown project in downtown Las Vegas for over a year now and I've been trying to come. Um, this past year, I've been trying to spend a week out of the month at a new place that I haven't been. So I've kind of traveled the country. Um, I was in Philly, Boston last month, New Orleans, Austin, Portland, San Francisco, and I finally made it to downtown Las Vegas. Been to Vegas many times before, but I really wanted to see this area and how it's really developed over the past five years. So um, in terms of my creative work, um, I started out, you know, I'm a digital native, I'm a millennial, so I live with my phone, you know, when I wake up and when I go to sleep, and so I've been involved with digital strategy for brands for a long time now, and as I think about innovation and how companies can innovate and be, you know, true champions of change and culture and community, um, it brought me here to downtown Vegas. Okay. So what are some of the innovations that you see within these big, big corporations that aren't necessarily creative and may have lost that? Um, I think a lot of corporations are really creative in different ways. They just have to like find their spark, right? Whether it's partnering up with a startup or partnering up with a technology or bringing um, a founder in-house to give an inspirational talk. Um, I think that corporations can, can do a lot to rejuvenate their their audience and their their employees to figure out, okay, what can we do every single day that keeps people motivated and happy and the clients and the customers of the company engaged in that brand. So downtown is definitely big on culture and like the day-to-day. -day. What are the kinds of things that you've implemented or kind of suggested to your corporate clients that partake in that? Well, I'm super excited about downtown and I've been thinking about it for a year now and um, I got in Tuesday night and I wanted to come see everything from the locals perspective, also from the Creative Week and Catalyst, Catalyst Week perspective, but also just talk to the people here. So I came to the downtown lowdown, um, I ate at lots of the restaurants and I what I want to do is I want to take it back to my company and to our clients and to tell them, you know, this is here. They've been working so hard for the past five years to to make it real and to make it sustainable so what we're thinking about and it's not confirmed yet but we're trying to bring out a group of our companies and bring out our leadership and bring out our clients to come visit downtown for themselves to see how they can you know participate how they can invest in the community invest in the people give back to the culture here and help make it you know more than what it is today so are there any particular startups you see like a partnership being in downtown that you can like partner with corporations in Los Angeles? That you can um, I had lunch, yeah, I had lunch with Marin from Zertual today and I know she uh, was raised here and I'm so excited about her company just because they provide uh, virtual assistance for anybody for a really like, economical rate. Um, and so whether it's a corporation using executive assistance transferring over to a virtual model where executive assistants can share across different executives. I think that's fantastic. Um, I've also been like taking a look at the Vegas Tech Fund and the types of companies that they've invested in. And some of them are so, so interesting, so I'm just wanting to learn more. Okay, so what led you to where you are in your career path and like why are you passionate about what you do? So, super interesting, but I, I went to school in LA in, at USC. Um, and I was studying finance and strategy and you know it was right around the time of the recession 2008 2009 where the economy crashed and tanked um, and so starting a career in finance I, I wanted to do something more meaningful um, and I jumped into a career in digital advertising not knowing what to expect but um, really finding meaning in that and the, the space was changing so quickly 
um, that I just found myself growing and um, staying really involved and interested in how the space was changing and that's what led me to innovation, emerging platforms, startups, how brands can intersect and inject um, startup culture into their own. So, so yeah. So do you identify more with like the startup entrepreneur spirit or like the corporation thing? So, so I have different. to, yeah, I have to be able to kind of like, I have to be able to play both sides. I have to be yeah. able to understand from like a large company's perspective, you know, a lot of times large companies are more slow moving and you know, they have to wait for certain processes and certain approvals to sell in the idea to management to get the buy-in from the entire team. But a startup is super quick and they have high expectations, fast turnover, they want to get things done. So I have to be able to like marry that gap and talk on the same level and bring two very different clients to the same page. Yeah. So I identify with both really. Having spent five years on the corporate side and then being like an entrepreneur of the company, um, I really identify with the audience of startups and the, the culture of startups. Yeah, and that's such a, such a nice merge of like the both kind of worlds to be able to embody both of those is really exciting. I mean, that's what I think is so exciting about Zappos bringing their entire company here and yeah. really investing in this space as downtown Las Vegas. And I, I remember I visited Fremont Street with a big sign maybe six years back and you know, mm -hmm. the rest of this wasn't here yet. So I'm just so excited that there are restaurants to eat at and bars to go visit and yeah. people to connect with. Um, so, so I'm super excited about it. Yeah, we're so happy to have you here. So tell everyone where they can find you on social media and your website. Oh yeah, um, you can find me on social media at, at Suzy Willow. Uh, Willow, there's a funny story around the word Willow. My, my name Suzy Rue, Rue in Chinese characters, I'm, I'm Korean. Uh, Chinese character means willow tree, and willow tree um, in Chinese character is you know, supposed to be of substance and it's supposed to be of, of steadfast, um, it's supposed to be a steadfast spirit. And so um, I just go everything on social media by at Suzy Willow. Okay, perfect. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. I want to take your kimono class at Stitch Factory. Oh, totally. You have to stay. Next um, Wednesday, the 12th Next Wednesday. Okay, I'll have to come back for it. I'm gonna drink wine and make kimonos. That sounds awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I love this like fire ombre thing I have going on. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for being here. Woo.